Hi everyone, this is Gina. I wanted to quickly show you today how you can edit one of the custom template designs in Adobe Acrobat Pro. Um, I've had some questions lately uh, where people were asking me how they can edit a template if they don't have any type of graphic software. Um, and this is one of the easiest ways that I've found to do it. Um, is by simply using the PDF file that you receive in the templates. Um, and then you open it in your Acrobat Pro to edit. Um, now I had someone who opened it with Adobe Reader and she asked, you know, why isn't the file readable? I can't, I can't do anything to it or edit it. Well, that's because Adobe Reader is simply showing you what the file looks like. Um, it has to be the Adobe Acrobat Pro in order to edit the file. So then <clears throat> you see here on the right-hand side of the screen, you've got the edit option and a bunch of other tools that you can use. Um, so if you run into that uh, issue where you, you open it up, you can see it, but you just can't do anything to it, um, that's why you just it's because you don't have the Acrobat Pro file so, uh, software. Um, if you need that, uh, feel free to you know, email me and I can give you a link um, to where you can actually get that. It is a paid version, but I think it's like 12 or $13 a month. Um, but there's an awful lot you can do with it. So that's an option. So all you would do to edit your template is click on this little edit PDF box. And you see that everywhere that has text now has this little bounding box around it. And that means that those are the areas of the template that you can edit. Um, and you simply just place your cursor wherever you want to change things. So if I put it here after the seven and backspace twice, I can add 20 there. I get 20, 20 click off of it. Um, I can change the name here. So let's say we want this to be O'Brien Family Reunion. Now depending on the length of your name, uh, you may have to adjust the size of the font here to make it fit right. Um, right now it's almost all the way over to the edge, but I'm going to center it. You can click to align here. I'm going to align it to the center, and then I'm going to bump the size of the font up just slightly. Right now, it's 74.6 points, but I'm going to make I'm going to try 76. Yep, that's that's pretty close. I can probably get 77. Uh, see, whenever that happens, all you just do is click the edge of the box and make it just a slight bit bigger. Um, and then you may need to move it over just a little bit to make sure it's centered underneath the flag. So that's pretty good size there. Now you can change the location on here too. So say you're not having your reunion at Big Bear Campground, maybe you want to have yours at Yogi Bear Campground. Now that's a little bit smaller. So what I would do here is again, select it, center it, and then make the font a little bit bigger. Let's try 40, 40, 42 maybe. Uh, let's just even go up to 46. That looks pretty good. And then whenever you've changed everything you wanted to change, just hit close and that will take you back out of the editor and you can see how it looks. So I think that looks pretty good. It's um, now, that template was actually fairly easy to edit. Some of them are a little bit more contrary depending on the, the layout um, and the fonts used. Sometimes editing it, the file can be a little tricky, but if you just play around with it and, um, you know, you can, you can play around with all of the different settings as far as spacing between letters and between lines and things like that. Um, this is an option you know, that works pretty well for editing if you don't have graphic software. 
for me, it's it's a little bit annoying to use just simply because I'm used to using my graphic software where I have a lot more control over what I can change and how I can manipulate things, but this is a pretty easy way to do it when you don't have graphic software. Okay, so now I want to show you one that's a little bit more difficult to edit. Um, not really that it's difficult, it's just a little trickier. Um, and it's mainly because of the spacing of these letters, how I have the, the, the kerning and have them spaced out. So um, what you want to do is change your name. So let's say Masters. McMasters. That's, I want to show you not only does it drop it down and now it's like on top of family reunion for some reason it leaves this big space above the letters um, and i can't figure out why it's doing that but the easiest thing to do um, is to space this out using the character spacing over here combination actually of this if you move it up to the two, which is high, as high as it will let you go on here. Um, in a graphics program, you can space these letters out as far apart as you want, but this gives you kind of a limit in here. Um, and then if you use this other tool here, it will kind of stretch it out even more. Um, if you want it to then be the exact same as family reunion line, um, you basically just need to change the font size, make it a little bit bigger um, until it's almost the same. That's pretty close. Um, and then what, what I've found you need to do, because it is overlapping family reunion, is to try and move this box up as far as it will let you. Um, but it gets to the point where it won't let you go any further. Um, so then to get around that, I have found that if you use your cursor and select the box starting with family reunion all the way down to the bottom, select all of that, and then I'm using my arrow key and just, just moving it down a little bit. Um, that seems to do the trick. So that one, I wanted to show you that because it sometimes does weird things like that and can get a little bit tricky. Um, also, like whenever I go to change this 19 to a 20, you'll notice right now it looks like they're lined up pretty close, the 20 and the 19. But when I change this to 20, it kind of drops down a little bit. Just little annoying things like that that happen um, whenever you're working with the file not in a graphics program. But you can adjust it, kind of try and line it up so that it's pretty close there. And there you go. You have edited the file. All right. Well, if you have any other questions about editing the PDF files or any of my other designs, uh, please don't hesitate to drop me an email. Um, and I'll be happy to, to walk you through it or, you know, create a video. I'm going to try and create some more videos showing you different ways that you can manipulate the design files and different things you can do with them. So watch for those to be posted. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.